Good afternoon everyone and today I want to start a new series and I want to show you all the Christmas items that I have and what you can see here is quite a mess. These are all my um, incense burner guys and I want to show you them piece by piece. So let me start with the biggest one. Um, this could be hard to completely show him. Well, he's big, <laughs> tall, but as I said, he is tall, so he comes, of course, in two pieces. You put your incense candle in here. No, wait, you don't call it candle. It's a cone-shaped thingy. You see, he, he, um, he has been used. I got him last year, and that thing said something about 1989. Some place had uh, the 800 year univer anniversary. Anniversary. I cannot speak. Why can I not speak? Every time I want to um, film a video, I cannot speak. Um, this feels like wool. So he's definitely an old piece. He's definitely vintage. And he looks like he does hasn't seen a lot of sunlight. And also, I fixed this guy here. His pipe was pretty much broken. And I fixed it. I gave him to a little uh, wooden beads to, to make the thing complete again. The next guy is this one, also thrifted last year. He's also pretty tall. And same here. Hold on. I had to fix his pipe, it was also broken and did the same. I used uh, wooden, I'm sorry, wooden beads. Oh, come on, focus. It doesn't focus on the beads. Anyways, um, yeah, <laughs> he's definitely uh, a made in GDR piece. Should I hold him like this? I don't know. He's a made in GDR piece. Um, there's nothing at the bottom, but you can tell he is pretty old. And there was only one region where they made them in the GDR, and that was Erzgebirge. <laughs> so the next two ones. Also nothing at the bottom, uh, but he's not that tall anymore. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a snowman, because he has everything a snowman has. And you can see by his mouth that he's been used a lot. This is pretty dark, and it smells good, by the way. Sorry, I probably make noises with my shoes here. Um, yeah, the sparkly uh, part in here is from the uh, from the smoke. So he kind of looks like a chimney cleaner should clean him on the inside a little. Uh, it's not not hard, not hard, not well to see. How can you see it? There's some stuff uh, sticking in the hole, in the smaller part of the hole. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really focus. Oh, and this is interesting. Do you see that? There's like a needle-like thingy sticking out, so you actually can fix, um, fixate the um, the incense thingy on it. And this one I had to repair. He was not broken when I got him, but can you see this? This broke off. So also last year thrifted. And if you if you search for this is just uh, an air hole that goes in the back usually. Oh no, he has holes all around. He has four air holes down here. That is just for ventilation. So the um incense thingy won't uh, go out and when I transported him home at some point his little sword broke off and it was really really hard to glue it back on so it's not it's not perfect but I did it as, as well as I could and this figurine I've seen on a lot of um, photos of these vintage in GDR incense burner guys. So now I have some sitting here and let's start from smallest to biggest. 
So this little fella here, he is definitely vintage by now. He's at, he's more than 20 years old. Oh, there's a bit of dust. Didn't even realize. So he has the original sticker. He's from the 90s. And I used him a bit. But for some reason, the, the smaller... I just want to call them candles because we call them candles. We call them Räucherkerzen, which means uh, like smoking candles or smoke candles or something like that. So my mom gifted him to me. And I have him ever since. And he's still in a good, good condition. So the next one does not have a sticker at the bottom, but he used to have one here. No idea if it was a price tag or something else. Uh, I found him recently in a uh, gift gifting group. I still have not fixed his hand. I still have to glue it back on. And he's just a tiny bit taller than the one I just showed you. Um, he hasn't been used much. He's very, very bright inside. Or very light, bright, whatever. Um, then this little guy here. Very, very common with the mushrooms here. Oops. Yeah, he's, he's pretty... He's pretty uh, wonky. Also, this is a cheap material. There was a um, ladybug glued on it. I, I removed it because I want to use it for Christmas. Uh, he's probably not an original. He might be a maiden. Who, uh, who, who knows where? Uh, he has been used, not by me. Uh, but this material here, which is supposed to hold the upper part in place, is very... Do you see that? Yeah. So it doesn't work very well. He's uh he's more cheap. He's more of the cheap kind. And he has quite some wear to it. So I, he's probably vintage, probably made in the nineties. And I got him last year also. There there are fruitful videos where I show all of these. Um then this one, he is probably 18 by now. I got him from my mom. Have I used him? A bit. <laughs> I have used him a bit. So my mom gave this guy to me. He's not vintage yet. So he has the sticker at the bottom. I also still have the um, box he came in. This is one of the few that actually have their original box still um actually it's just two of them with the box no wait there's also a house with the box <laughs> two two uh, figurines and a house with the box i'm going to show you the houses as well so this guy is also probably very very likely from i'm sorry very likely from the 90s and i got him in in the box he's he might be an original, even though there's no sticker at the bottom. This makes noises, I know. And he's very, very cute. Um, this is not a chip, this is paint. It's just some white paint on here. And I got him for a very low price. I think two euros, maybe? So he was new in the package. So therefore, he has never been used. But he's very, very pretty. And he is pretty much well made. I like him. Let's put him here. So the next guy. Is this one. Uh, my mom thinks he's supposed to be a snowman. I think he might uh, might be a night guard or something. Uh, he's definitely old. Also, no sticker, no nothing at the bottom. He was used, as you can see. And he looks pretty much old. Uh, he was really cheap, I think, 150 or so. I had... Uh, there was another one. If I would have known my mom likes him so much... I would have gotten another one for her. 
because she was like oh he's so cute he reminds me of the snowman i have and she has a snowman that really looks similar um also made of wood which my dad got in the 80s in the late 80s when he was allowed to travel to berlin i tell you gdr was a weird kind of place a lot of things seem really really weird when you talk about them these days so this guy was also pretty cheap last year he lost his walking stick i just put something in here that is too narrow i need to see if i can find something uh has he been used yep and now he just lost his walking stick <laughs> i'm sorry sorry dude there we go so he's uh, in a pretty good condition, also nothing at the bottom but a number, but he might be an original, maybe he's one of these guys from the 90s, like that guy back there, the colorful one. And these are all the figurines, now I'll show you the houses. Starting with the smallest, I got it last year, it's not vintage, and this is what it's supposed to be, you know. The stuff that holds it's not supposed to be like this it's supposed to be strong like that metal here oh, oh. oh. so i have not used this guy uh, so it's pretty pretty new condition I have no idea where these are made, maybe in China, maybe somewhere else. But they look pretty and they are really cheap because this is the lasered, um, the lasered wood. So someone just puts these together and that's it. And they are really, really cute. So you can, you can decorate with these really easy. Now for something with a confession this guy here is definitely vintage uh, I'm not sure if it was made in GDR maybe it was made in Czechoslovakia um, you can see what what kind of wood this is it has been used like a million times it smells just so freaking good and I swear when I took this out of the uh, of the box it immediately smelled like Christmas in here um so this is a a different um thing here you see the metal is pretty old um and you're supposed to hang the the incense thingy in here and now for the confession originally uh, this was a little candle holder and i don't even know if you can see that it's uh sparkly but it turned dark darker and darker and for some stupid reason teenage me thought it would be a good idea to use some tipex on it tipex you know that stuff is inflammable for a candle holder and the solution i had was drip a lot of wax on it <laughs> to, to make sure it, it never starts to burn and because this part of the house looks so terrible because actually you're supposed to present it like this. I turn it around and only show it like this. But you can see there's a lot of age to it. This thing is probably 40 years old now. I grew up with this little house. You can see there's there are dark spots. Yeah, but I, I, st I still like it. This is uh, something that reminds me to my childhood. And I mean this, um, what is it? Turquoise, teal, light blue, whatever color is not even my thing. But this is childhood. I just I just cannot give it away. I, I, I still want to keep this thing. So another piece from last year. Oh, it's a bit dusty. I should have cleaned those. Oh dear, in the camera the dust shows so freaking well. Um, yeah, it has been used by whoever owned it before me. 
Um, there's nothing at the bottom. This is how it looks from the back side. I, I think it's pretty and you can actually find houses or little houses, little um, cabins that look like this in the mountains. Uh, so the, the very pointy roof um, is so the snow can fall off easily. And if you have the not so pointy roof, like like this one, this is a right angle, this is a 90 degrees and this is maybe 70 degrees. So the wood can fall off this roof and can slide down much easier than this one. But also that one is uh, kind of typical, but more with a pointy roof. Um, more roof than house. It's what you what you see in those areas a lot in Europe. I had very practical reasons, uh, areas with a lot of snow in winter. And there's my cat. He was quiet the whole time and now, now he comes. And this is the last one. You also see the very pointy roof here. The very typical and more roof than, than straight walls here. And this has been used not much. It's very, very light on the inside. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I found it so cute with this little bird here. And this is the other one that still has the original box. Might also be one from the 90s, maybe. There's, there's a sticker here. But this is definitely uh, probably not made in Germany or somewhere, I don't know. It might be made for Germany, but not in Germany. So, enjoy the cat here in front of the camera. Uh, this is the end of part one. These are all my incense burners, houses and figurines. And, oh, that was my cat. I hope you enjoyed this little video and there is more to come. So thank you guys so much for watching and see you next video. Bye!